Hello and welcome to Chapter Skip. I'm Mark, and today I'm reviewing the first season of the anime Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> Tokyo Ghoul comes from Studio Pierrot, who brought us such shows as Naruto, Bleach, GTO, and even the mysterious Cities of Gold. It's directed by Suihei Morita and is based on the manga by Sui Ishida. The story tells of how Tokyo has been suffering from a spate of ghoul attacks, and for those of you that don't know what ghouls are, they're described in the dictionary as evil spirits that rob graves to feed on the corpses, or they're a person that is morbidly obsessed with death. Of course, what with this being an anime, things aren't quite so simple. One night after going out on a date, Ken Kaneki finds himself the victim of a ghoul attack. Fortunately for Ken, the ghoul is killed during its attack on him, although he is mortally wounded. Still, he's rescued thanks to some surgery in which he has his damaged internal organs replaced by those of the female ghoul that attacked him. The main problem for Kaneki as a result of the surgery is that he's now a half-human, half-ghoul and is trying to fight the fact that food is not as delicious as it once was and that he's got an unshakable craving to chow down on people meat. He also has to come to terms with his newfound ghoul abilities and the rules that are laid out in ghoul society. Visually, the show looks really good. The audio and soundtrack works well too with... The only exception for me being the opening theme tune, which I found the vocals to be a bit too gaspy for my taste, and it sounded a bit like the singer was having an asthma attack. The other problem I have with the show is that the majority of the versions that are available, such as the one that's on Netflix, are heavily censored. There'll be shadows put across the bloody or violent scenes, which are completely unnecessary. I mean, in the uncensored cut, there's a scene that simply has a silhouette of a severed head being thrown into Kaneki's lap. But in the censored version, there's a massive shadow obscuring the entire scene. I mean, if you didn't know that it was a severed head being thrown into his lap, the excessive shadow could make you imagine much worse being thrown at him. Like a severed penis, or a copy of the Ninja Turtles movie. Yeah, thanks Michael Bay. The censorship doesn't end there either, as during some of the bloody sequences the colours are tampered with, so it looks like you're watching the show whilst tripping your head off on acid. It's all unnecessary, and I do find it annoying that the show would be censored in such a way. I mean, it's a horror show. Leave all the blood and violence intact, especially when they seem to have no problem showing someone getting their face stamped on. So what, realistic violence is okay, but over-the-top comic book violence is a no-no? That really makes no sense. The other gripe that I have with the show is that when the final episode of the first series comes to its conclusion, it's part way through a story arc and there's no real resolution to proceedings. I mean, if that was just the end of a regular episode, then that wouldn't be a big deal, but to have it as a season finale, it's just a bit lame and anticlimactic. However, these are minor gripes, and on the whole, the series is entertaining and enjoyable. And even though it's not one of those shows that grabbed me so that I was sitting on the edge of my seat in fevered anticipation waiting for the next episode, it was still good enough to keep me entertained and interested in what was going on. If you fancy starting a new anime series, then you could do a lot worse than Tokyo Ghoul. And with the first season only being about 12 episodes in length and the second already having started its run, it's not something you'd have to dedicate your entire life to. Unlike One Piece, for example. Now, I'd much rather watch the uncensored version, but if you don't mind the odd shadow or weird colour scheme on some of the bloody sequences, then you might as well stick with the version that's currently available on Netflix. Having watched the first season, will I watch the second? Yeah, eventually. But as I said, it's not a show that kept me eagerly awaiting the next episode, so I'm in no particular rush to do so at the moment, as there's plenty of other things that are vying for my attention. Still, at some point, I will sit down and carry on with the series. <laughs> That's it for this video, and don't forget to like and subscribe. If there's anything you'd like me to review or you have any suggestions, then please put them in the comments below. And don't forget, you can also follow Chapter Skip on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.